Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if your laptop battery is not charging above 80% or above 50% in your laptop. Now, there are a couple of steps uh, I would suggest you to go and try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step uh, is to go ahead and disable the battery limiter. Now, couple of manufacturer or laptop manufacturer would go ahead and install the manufacturer application to conserve the battery so the first thing is to go ahead and disable those um, battery limiter you can find these application uh, under system tools and once you open the system tools look for power or battery settings under battery warranty and settings make sure your conservative mode or conservation mode is not enabled um, for your laptop so one that is one step once it is done then go ahead and calibrate your battery now it is important to not let your battery drain completely or leave it dead for long allowing your laptop battery to die or get extremely low will confuse the battery meter and may portray an inaccurate percentage so calibrate thing your laptop won't fix the damaged battery or extend the battery life but it would provide a more accurate reading of how much power your laptop has so you will have to go ahead and calibrate your battery how do you do it um, you will have to go ahead and uh, completely drain the battery to the full capacity and then try to connect your laptop to the charger make sure it has been 100 percent full or charged to the full capacity once it is done disconnect your laptop charger and that should go ahead and uh, recalibrate your uh, laptop battery so once it is done check if your issue has been resolved in case if it is not resolved the next step i would suggest you to do is to run the power troubleshooter now basically the in windows 11 the power troubleshooter is being disabled from the other troubleshooter however you can run this power troubleshooter by clicking on the search and type run in the run window i would go ahead and type the command which says msdt.exe space forward slash id space power diagnostic i will also mention this command in the uh, video description you can uh, make a note of the command from the video description once you have this command type click on ok this will go ahead and open the power troubleshooter and um, allow the power troubleshooter to run and fix any issues so what you can do is you may go ahead and click on advanced where apply replace automatically will be checked keep these option as is and click on next now uh, it would try to go ahead and detect any issues with your laptop battery and it will try to get this fixed by itself click on close and see if your uh, issues issue has been resolved in case if the issue has been not resolved the next step is to go ahead and update the battery driver so how do you go ahead and update the battery driver you will have to do a right click on the start button and then go to device manager from the list under device manager you will see batteries option and under batteries you will see microsoft acpi compliant control method battery you may go ahead and do a right click and click on update driver and you can click on search automatically for the drivers so once you click on search automatically for the drivers you would see an option which says the the best drivers for your device is already installed so in case if your st uh, if your issue is still not resolved maybe you can search for the updated drivers on the windows update so you may click on the next option so basically what this will do is it will go ahead and check for the updates windows updates and see if there are any updates available for your battery and check for the updates if there are any updates available uh, install those updates restart the computer and check if the issue has been resolved in case if the issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step and the next step uh, what i would suggest you to do is to uninstall and reinstall the battery driver so how do you do it you can again click on the start button do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager under device manager uh, you will have to go back again to the batteries option do a right click and click on uninstall device so this will go ahead and uninstall the battery driver from the computer not do not be worried the 
you don't have to worry about uh, what would happen if uh, these device drivers are uninstalled that it wouldn't make any uh, any much difference in the, in terms of uninstalling it so once you click on uninstalling it when you restart the computer these drivers would be automatically installed in case if these drivers are not automatically installed you may go ahead and uh, go to the right click on the start button and then click on device manager under batteries you may go ahead and do a right click or you may go ahead and do a right click on the batteries and click on scan for hardware changes it would go ahead and check for any hardware changes and you would see the microsoft acpi compliant control method battery driver installed back on your laptop once it is done you may go ahead and check if this been issue has been resolved um, and see if it uh, works now the last step what i would also suggest is now it works at least in some of the cases you may go ahead and try to disconnect the laptop plug the connector and try to uh, clean the connector and see if there are any dust particles to it so clean the dust up the the connector plug on both the ways uh, on a male uh, connector and also on a female connector see if there are any uh, dust particles blew them off uh, with the vacuum cleaner and or with the vacuum air and see if there are any dust particles try to connect it back that should uh, ideally fix the problem so in case in spite of trying all these steps and if you're still facing a problem then the last step is to go ahead and replace the battery so i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day